Yes, it is happening. We are exploding out from this resistance, from this huge channel that we mentioned on yesterday's video. And as you can see on the hourly chart, we've exploded out from this bull flag and we've done it with a decent amount of volume. Also, you want to be sticking around because DBS Bank LTD, a Singaporean multinational banking and financial services corporation, is launching its own crypto exchange. Banks are getting heavily into crypto. JP Morgan from Chase says Bitcoin going head to head with gold. BTC price will double or triple if modest crowding out occurs. And before we start the video, I want you to go down there, smash that like button and hit that subscribe button and click all here so you're notified with the best cryptocurrency news out there. Hello and welcome back to another episode of Bitcoin Census, where you subscribe for the quickest technical analysis and news on Bitcoin, cryptocurrency and the financial markets. I am not a financial advisor, so don't buy or sell anything that I say. And if you do, do your own research. Said this, let's go straight into the charts. And it's happening. We are breaking to the upside from this resistance area. And the only thing that is pulling me back is the RSI. We are hitting overbought territory. And usually the price has a correction to the downside when we hit these areas. But I want to show you from last year in the charts from April of 2019, we hit the overbought area and we shoot straight up to the $13,800 levels in less than two months. That is over a $7,000 move, guys. We can go sideways, even though we've hit the overbought area. We'll probably go sideways here for a little bit and then retest $15,000 and then climb up to $20,000 levels in about two months. It has done it before. We've shoot up more than $7,000 in two months. We can do it again and retest the $20,000 levels. The only thing I'm concerned that we're hitting the $13,800 resistance. This is the only resistance left, in my opinion, that we need to break out really soon so we can be hitting the $20,000 levels in the next month or two. Having a quick look at the hourly chart, we can see that we broke out from this bull flag and we've done it with a decent amount of volume. So I do think that the price will come back down and retest the resistance, maybe at the $13,200 and we'll be retesting $13,800 and see if we can break out that area. And in today's news, DBS Bank LTD, a Singaporean multinational banking and financial services corporation, is launching its own crypto exchange. The largest commercial bank in Singapore is launching DBS Digital Exchange, which will serve mainly for financial institutions. Zhu Su, CEO of Singapore's hedge fund manager, Three Arrow Capital, was the first to announce this today. He said in his tweet that DBS, as the largest retail and commercial bank in Singapore, is launching its crypto fiat exchange. According to the information we found, the exchange will be regulated by the Monetary Authority of Singapore and will initially offer trading only with the most famous cryptocurrency as you can see obviously btc which is bitcoin here we have ethereum bitcoin cash xrp so they'll be trading the most popular cryptocurrencies and jp morgan says bitcoin going head to head with gold btc price will double or triple if modest crowding out occurs although bitcoin is still a relatively small class asset with a market cap of $242 billion compared to gold's $2.6 trillion market cap value. I think the market cap value of gold is in between eight and $10 trillion, uh, according to my research that I have done in the last few months. So I think this part of the article is wrong. The cryptocurrency can potentially compete with the precious metal as the preferred alternative to currency, says JP Morgan in a report by Business Insider. 
even a modest crowding out of gold as an alternative currency over the longer term would imply doubling or tripling of the Bitcoin price. According to JP Morgan, the key driving force in BTC's ascent is the shift in the demographic where the younger generation are choosing Bitcoin over gold. The more economic agents accept cryptocurrency as a means of payment in the future, the higher their utility and value. JP Morgan's current bullish stance on BTC appears to be a 180 degree turn from the previous position in 2017 JP Morgan CEO Jamie Dimon famously called Bitcoin a fraud and I am going to show you a little clip that was on 2017 when JP Morgan called Bitcoin a fraud. I don't know why I said anything about it. If the blockchain is technology which is a good technology we actually use it it will be used for a lot of different God bless the blockchain. Cryptocurrencies and digital currencies, you know, I think, are also fine. You know, JP Moore moves six trillion of dollars around the world every day. We don't do it in cash. It's done digitally. If it can be done digitally with the blockchain, so be it. But it'll still be a dollar cryptocurrency. What I have an issue with is a non-fiat cryptocurrency dollar. So crypto, uh, sterling, euro, yen, they're all fine. I don't personally understand the value of something that has no actual value. You all can do whatever you want, and I don't care. Okay? <laughs> well, wouldn't you know it, Jamie Dimon now is extremely bullish on Bitcoin because he knows he has studied the technology and there will only be 21 million Bitcoin in existence. And you know what? The digital dollar, they can print trillions and trillions and they will devaluate the dollar. So he is extremely bullish now on Bitcoin. Guys, feel free to look at the Bitcoin Sensors website. We've got great tutorials on how to buy, store Bitcoin, even how to trade Bitcoin. We've got the latest news. So feel free to go and check the website. That is going to be it for today's video. Smash that like button if you like the content. Hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you're notified every single day that I put a video on. And I will see you in the next one.